Welcome back guys, this is BK3, another war recap on War 184 I believe, and unfortunately we did not come in with a win, but still good job by our guys that's uh, attacking them for the for the effort, they they just had um, a better war than us, um, they basically 3 star everything from Town Hall, from our number 4, which is Town Hall 10 and below. We did miss their number, kind of number one, and we did. We just still did. Good, we still did good on the, the top. Uh, unfortunately, we did. We did lost a lot of replay, so I couldn't show you guys like uh, all the really good three star attacks. Um, we missed. The, what killed us at this war was our mid range guys. I mean, four stars. That that could have made a difference. Number number nine, twelve, eleven, and fifteen. So. Um. Yeah, I mean, just sometimes you, you can't you can get them. It would require like our top channel to kind of dip down and just hit them, but unfortunately, we didn't, we didn't have the, uh, enough attacks left to do it. And I'm really, yeah, okay, so at least we got one one attack by, by, our, by our guy too before the, the update kind of killed our replays. Anyway, let's see what's going on. He's <coughs> gonna choose to funnel from the bottom with the baby dragon. And with uh, wall breakers um, on the right, just kind of pinching in from the middle where the golems are, right on the, um, the fourth, the fourth card position. And so I don't think. Okay, so he, he does have a wall breaker to kind of break it in. The queen melts, and then so he's got bulky troop in the middle, which is really really good. Now he's he's king. Look at his king being a hero, just kind of jump in trying to take out the eagle artillery, which. I don't think that's gonna that's gonna do it. I mean, as soon as CC troops lock on them, um, but he chooses to raise them up, and whoa, look 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 at this! I mean, he chooses to funnel. He, he funneled really good, so he the bulky troops get to the middle and kind of uh, take out the town hall earlier, and he still got a lot of troops left. I mean, this guy's queen with a with the ability, which he's had kind of forced to use it soon, and the warden is still up, but. Without without ability, I mean, I think he's he's got this really early in the back by the by this. I think the front tower is going down. Yes, the front tower is down, but I think he's gonna have to take care by the king, which is you know before they can the, the king can even get one shot. Look at the ward just kind of go off on the king. Like, you take her, you take her. I'm gonna take you out. That's that was my daughter or something. I like to think of the warden as like a little older, but it is really up to you guys. Um, so right now he's got war. He's got a bolo working on the right, and I think he's just gonna try to get a percentage at this point. Uh, he can He could have got a percentage. Uh, the ways he can come with the percentage from. But I think he's got it with the with the healer backing up, and he's not being targeted by the point defense troops. So I think he's 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 got this. Yeah. So. Yep, there is a 50 to 50 percent, 52 percent. So, yep, there's so I don't think there's much, not much you can do. It's just kind of trying to uh, pick up percentage here. There's not not much you can do with the two minions. That's kind of yeah, all the defense are basically covered. So one, it's like the Roy guy too. Um, Damn, I wish I could show you guys these, these good replays. Oh, uh, well, we got one good replay by our guy, number 5, going on to number 6. Well, it's a Town Hall 10 beating on Town Hall 9, so... Well... He's gonna come in with Mass Bowlers. Bowlers are still good. I mean, even though they got, the, they got the, a little bit nerfed, but they are still got enough power to just kind of punch it, punch it through. I think we found the perfect balance for um, their purpose. It's kind of hard to three-star um, Town Hall 10 loving now with bowlers, but it, with with Town Hall 9, they're still absolute beast. So anyway, he chose to coming. Uh, I don't know how's he doing it with funneling, but he did funnel um, the the bowlers kind of left and right, and they uh, a lot of them did choose to go through the middle, and they, he needs to drop a jump spell, which I came too late. I don't know if that was on purpose, but. Look, look at this, the, the healer is directed to heal 
the golems and the CC choose the, the hounds choose to, to kind of kill the golem while he's being healed. And the, the queen kind of take care of everything. The every is a CC choose and the, and the bullers kind of rally outside. And the, the golem, the golems get like super healed um, just by uh, by uh, he's directed by every defense there. So the majority of his bullers still alive and they're still doing work. And every single point defense, they're almost targeted the goal as he walked in. Now he's kind of um, shift. He's and they're still being healed by all the. Oh, this guy divided by by the all the healers over there. So he's got like a super ultra tankage going on there. Um, yeah, there's really nothing that the space can do anymore. All the point defense are targeting the goal. The the, the um, invincible golem. I never lost a lot of health, but right, right at this point, the uh, healer gets, does get taken down at the last moment. I mean, look at this, the base is wrecked. So, he's got really the, he's a uh, value worth on that one go, so really, good job. He doesn't really need to use a queen's ability, but he chooses to use it anyways. So. Yeah, wait, look, I'm just kind of bring you, um, don't really want to show anymore like Town Hall 10, I guess, Town Hall 9. But here's one we can show. I think I featured this one on last video, on the War Progress video. And he's gonna choose to Quicken in the middle. I mean, he this opens, in, I think, if not almost all departments except for the left and right department with the, with the Archer Tower and the Canyons are. So he's gonna come in the front and bottom, starting with the Town Hall. The CC shoot they come in, the goal and just kinda of walking straight straight walking to the middle. And it gets taken down really fast. But he's got um, his Valks and his King going in. Now the Valks kinda of deviate a little, but he's got bowlers kinda of coming in from the bottom. Um, yeah, he doesn't really need a lot of stuff now. I mean all the de all defense except the Tesla towers are being the being a pain. I mean he's got Tesla far in the bottom, he, he needs to work through but the but the Valks are on that, on the point, and he's dropped the heel where, where it's appropriate. Um, and but the right now they're being trying to beat through the wall, and the queen kind of rallied on top with a lot of some Valks kind of doing the tanking while the wizards and the queen kind of shooting him down. The king is still working through the middle, taking out the wizard tower, and finally goes down by the two point defense. The queen is still. Being sort of being tanked until this, until the last moment, until the, um, the wizard tower is still shielding at them. And then gone to the last archer tower on the top. So, right now, it's just kind of if the queen, yeah, the queen still got her ability, so she used to use her ability to take out the two last point defense. That was just kind of luck how, how the, it was directed towards those defense, I guess. Um, so, so, at this point, the the basis, the basis is done. So just basic clean up. So good job. Yes. Yeah, should we type by Bob? It's gonna come in with golems and valves and wizards. Oh, they go Val we He's trying to quicken in the middle, and it's gonna open up the top half of the compartment. I think he was trying to open up more, but. Uh, there's a range, I think the range crank is, uh, the range is like 6 or 7, I forgot, but... But anyways, he kinda, I think he's kinda stuttered a little, like, wait till he's dropping his troops at. Um, where is he dropping his troops? Okay, so he's dropping his troops on, on the cannon, along with the king. And then a bunch of wizards. I don't know how he's gonna funnel this. Interesting funnel choice. Um... So is he just gonna funnel all the all the bomb ones? Um, so so the rest of the wizards go down where the cannons are, and then some valves. He uh, does he he does I don't I think okay. So I don't know if he's planned, but this worked out. Would this work out great? Because the valves are in the middle, taking our business, and the, the counts kind of chasing them. But that's not really gonna matter. They're just gonna be like you know, be forever. Chased and dropped, dropped rage full of Alks, which is gonna melt through everything as, long as, as well as a 
healing spell. So the Valks are going to be no problem. I um, think he's got several Valks working on the top and right. And with the healing spell, the rage spell, he was able to kind of blow through, taking her half of the base before the bowlers and the archers kind of they can arrive. So the two Valks they're being healed by the heal the heal spell and. The, the Hound is still chasing after the one Valk going on the top, so that the Hound is really not going to do anything. And right now the, the Valk is getting shut down right here due to one point defense, the cannon. Went down there but not, 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 no fear, not, not fear the, uh, the bowlers and the rest of the troops going to catch up and take care of business. I don't think the Hound exploded this war. It's never getting easy off the yeah. The, the Hound never did anything this war just because of Alex and Drew Agro. Drew draw Agro earlier in the raid. So, you now we're gonna look at attack by a number 9 going under number 17. I mean, we're really dipping down, we just don't have enough attacks at the end. Kind of trying to finish everything. So, he's gonna, he's gonna try to quake on the right, I mean, on the left. Ah, I'm getting my drag confused. confused. He's got like a lure both CT troops, which I, you know, personally I could lure the CT troops out first, but whatever. So he's gonna um, drop two golems, kind of with a bunch of wizards, with the CT troops gonna take take it really really fast. Um, that's what I'm talking about. He still he could still work on the following, so I don't think on purpose, but he's keen he got blocked outside. As the Valks, all these Valks goes in, and they were able to take care, yeah, everything in there with the rage. Um, but he's only he's got majority of Valks on DB8 on the top, which you know, the golem in the middle soaking up damage. But that's I don't think that's he's kind of value work right there. But he's got miners working on the bottom, kind of taking care of the some of the, the point defense down there. Um, good job on the following on the on the, on the miner. I mean, look look at him. They just kind of go off on every single. Um, Point defense that was in this pocket. He still got the Tesla phone to work through, which at this point the the Valks got in. He's got, I think he's got like eight Valks, eight, eight or seven Valks still alive, and they're just gonna work on the um, on the skeleton walls. It's not gonna matter. Look at this. He's got like a little point defense in high DPS damage area. And he's got, he does lost, I think, almost all the Valks in there. But at the same time, he was able to take care of the bot defense. And with the King's ability activated, he was able to kind of muscle through, blast through um, that defense, no problem. He does run low, really low on, on troop at this point. Um, just how Y minus to kind of still working on there. And the three wizards, I mean, look at how close this came down to the wire. Uh, once those are gone, I mean, that wizard, oh, those wizards were, were the heroes. I mean, if they can't, if they couldn't reach the, the archer tower, the, this raid was over. So, ah, uh, corner huts. Uh, the corner hut still works. Somehow, somehow, somewhat. They're not gonna work all the time. Sure, want to show you guys because majority of these are already got taken care of earlier in the war. Um, yeah, we sometimes we just have to have enough to bring it. I mean, look at this 90 or 90 percent. Uh, this this would have been so close if we you know just take care of these guys, but yeah. Um, not much, I, not much I can say about the next war I'll be in it, but this war is still, is still um, looking for a good challenge. Also, a good challenge is always good. Plus, it looks like we got a matchup with a clan that has a fairly. They were on a really long losing streak right here, so hopefully we can extend their worst the losing war streak by one more red mark. Yeah, they seem to have like what is that like 40% win percentage, but they do have a lots of war experience. So, so yeah, let's see, let's let's see this war. Can't wait for this war to start. Looking at the war choice, they do have a town hall advantage here. Uh, 
uh, there's number five with yeah they do have a Teho advantage here with with the Furl Tower so our top guy is gonna have to really must really just kind of bring it uh, we did uh, two did not this war that's that's unfortunate but yeah uh, I guess until the next until like tomorrow or something I can bring it the uh, work progress video. I'll see you guys next time. Please don't uh, forget to subscribe, comment, and share your thoughts on the comment box below. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I'll see you guys next time.